Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to start the electronics assembly on the uh, Zone Star. So, I've got everything laid out here. A couple things I want to talk about. Most of this is pretty straightforward, um, but I want to point a few things out. One are the um, nylon standoffs on the power supply. This is an important and a good thing. This isolates this uh, power supply frame from the metal chassis of the Zone Star, which is good. So if you have a floating ground issue, that's not going to be passed to the metal chassis here, just to this chassis uh, on this part. And if you don't know what a floating ground issue is, you can search that on my channel. I did a complete video uh, on that. So good safety tip, so make sure that this stays intact. Uh, the other thing is we've installed already on the um, uh, Zone Star, the nylon standoffs for the controller board. You notice I've reseeded this ramp, so all is good there. And then we have the um, uh, uh, plug-in and switch for the power supply here. It goes inside of the Zone Star, and we'll do that as part of the assembly. I just strip back, a strip back. I'll spit that out. Um, some of the insulation, the wires did not come pre-stripped. Not a major deal. Um, just note the configuration of the ground being yellow and then hot and black here, or red and black here for neutral and hot. Um, so this is a little different than normal. Usually um, you'll have a green or something like that for the uh, ground, but this appears to be yellow. So just a little bit of note. So make sure you follow and, and be very safe with doing this. Obviously this is line voltages. And the other piece is, this is really a little bit unprotected while there's some uh, plastic sheathing over the covers. This is a metal frame and it's attaching to the metal frame so uh, use a little bit of safety there. We have the rest of this stuff put out here. We have the control board which uh, came pre-assembled with the nylon standoffs which will go on the top of the unit and so uh, with that I'm going to go to a bit of a time lapse and start putting some of this stuff together. Uh, I will probably you know break in, I'll sh well I'll do the time lapse so you can see how I put everything together in general where everything goes and you'll get a perspective and then I'll break and then I'll talk about uh, how everything's plugged in and how it should be looking for you if you're building this. So if you have any questions this can act as a reference. So let's jump over to the time lapse and start hooking all this stuff up so we can get this bad boy printing. Let's go. Okay, welcome back. So we finished the build at the Zone Star. It came out really well. I'm happy with it. Fingers crossed it's going to actually print. Uh, so we've got everything hooked up. A couple things I want to point out. So I did use a little bit different uh, cable management mechanism here for both uh, the hot end as well as the bed. So I probably in the future will add a cable chain to the bed uh, just to kind of improve its movement. The bed does have significant movement, if you will, across the board, back and forth. Uh, so I've just leveled this out. Uh, notice also I've installed the um, uh, auto bed leveling sensor over here, so that's uh, hooked up. Uh, I'm not. I, I will do a video on how to use this uh, later, but uh, uh, I'm not going to use it initially. But I will do a video. I, I will also do a video on how to set up the extruders the dual extruders, how to slice for dual extrusion and, and that kind of stuff in a future video. Show you guys how to use that. Uh, as you can see everything's already set up. Um, made some test movements with it. Posted that out on Instagram. So it's gone very well. Uh, one of the pieces I did do as mentioned in, in the build videos is I did shim out these rods with a lock washer that was about the diameter of the rod so it still fits up inside of um, these uh, 3D printed uh, bushings. So that's done. I also uh, did some initial alignments. And basically what you want to do is, is after all this is bolted together, then tighten these down. You might remember we loosen these up. So you want to make sure everything's turned smoothly. Now I haven't lubed this yet with the Teflon loop. I will do that. I will also do some more aligning, but I kind of wanted just to get this uh, build video completed. How long did it take me? I get about four hours into building this printer, which is really good. But keep in mind, I've built a lot of printers. Um, I could probably build it in less than four hours, but it was about four hours with making the videos on top of it. Um, so this actually goes together very quick, which is very nice. Uh, the instructions are, are a lot better than the TiVo Tarantula, and that's been my fave. 
I think some of the short points of this is there's no cooling fan for the control board over there. So that's something I'm going to have to remedy in the near future, try to figure that out, because there is a pretty big conglomeration of wires over there. Um, so that is something I will have to deal with. Uh, but outside of that, it's really turned out good. I've put uh, one of my older PEI beds on here. I am going to order a new one to put on here, and I will probably do the uh, 3M tape uh, with it rather than the clips. Uh, but so far, fingers crossed, pretty good. I did not have to flip, even though I thought I was going to have to flip. The wires to reverse the other Z motor didn't have to do that. They were already flipped in the cable I used, so if you kind of pay attention, hopefully you'll get lucky too. Uh, but everything else is pretty good. Now, I did get my quote-unquote gift spool holders. Those are installed in the back. I don't know if those are going to stay or go, um, but hey, I put them on because they gave them to me for free. They're a gift, right? And so, anyways, uh, I'm just kind of happy with the overall build of this in general quality. really like the metal frame. So, anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you're interested in getting to do into dual extrusion on the cheap, I think this is a really good way to go. You know, 258 bucks, basically roughly four-hour build time. Uh, everything went together pretty good, so very happy with it. So anyways, Swag Shop will be up there. Don't forget to comment below if you're interested in one of these. The links will also be below. If you have one of these, give me some tips and tricks below. What mod should I be? Should be the first that I'm going to do to it. Uh, again, I uh, really want to add the fan over there. But anyways, we'll see you guys in the next video when we print something. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.